I look like Gollum then. With a lettuce hem. Do you like it? Oh, my neck. I literally thought my head was gonna fall off. It's kind of like. Oh. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I need to just concentrate, but I literally can't. You may have seen my video like this from last year. I posted it in February last year, but this year I'm on, I'm, I'm on it. <laughs> I posted 22 outfits for 2022. It's now 2023, so I was like, what's another outfit? First of all, we need to appreciate, like genuinely, what the hell? I finished my exams and me and my friend were like, do you know what would be a real treat? Because we've never done it before. Let's go get our nails done. And it was literally the best idea ever. Because look how well that goes in my top. But this is outfit number one. I'm gonna get rid of the jacket for a second because I prefer it without. Um, I got my big black shoes on. I got these parachute pants. This tank top, which I'm crocheting myself. Honestly, literally obsessed. This little white t-shirt. I've tried it with a bigger white t-shirt, but it just kind of looks clumpy. Clumpy? Lumpy. It just looks a bit lumpy when I wear a bigger white t-shirt underneath it. This is another top that I've made recently. Um, I love the fabric. I designed the fabric myself. I think I just broke it as I was putting it on. And the heart at the back as well. A bit stuck. They're like a velvety... I don't think I showed you properly last time. These boots are kind of... Whoa. These are kind of like... Oof. I feel like I'm wearing hunting boots. They literally make me that much taller. My friend introduced me to pink lemonade Lucasade. I should not drink it right now. It's literally 5.30 probably. No, I think it's more closer to 6.30 now. It tastes like pure happiness in a cup. I found this in a charity shop and I have never been so pleased of a charity shop find. I'm not sure, but I think Reclaimed is like a a brand at the moment that's popular i don't know it could not be i'm genuinely quite confused but i didn't actually see the words at the bottom i saw the jumper and i was like i i need it also with these trousers i feel like this is such a like cozy soft outfit i will haven't worn this one yet but i'm gonna keep giving you regular nail updates throughout the video even though you've seen them once so you don't really need to see them again but look I look like Gollum then. My vocabulary in my videos is getting increasingly better. It's like I've been reading the dictionary or something. I used to love the sources. Don't ask. You're gonna have to bear with me on this one. Imagine I'm wearing a really cute pair of tights or, and maybe like a different colour jumper. This skirt, I find it so hard to style. It's like a really thin line between working in an office and being cute. But Olivia Neal could do it, so, so can I. Do you like it? Oh, my neck. I literally thought my head was gonna fall off. This makeup has to stay on six hours so I can have my passport photo taken because currently my passport photo is me when I'm like 14 and I swear my forehead has shrunk in size. Also, look how long my hair's going. Please grow quicker because it does this strange little thing that I'm not a fan of. Oh, I need to put my shoes back on so that I can rise to the height of the frame because when I'm filming, I have to set the camera up for a height whether I'm wearing these shoes or not wearing these shoes. This is so comfy, but it comes with a little bit of terror um, because I made these trousers myself. And as much as I trust my own abilities, I don't trust my own abilities and they're quite tight and no stretch. So I'm always like, if I sit, are they just gonna split? Something I've learned about doing YouTube is that you always, always have a spare battery. This is a pretty cool outfit. You can really tell when I'm not wearing the shoes. Um, it's parachute pants with this jumper. This wasn't one of the outfits I planned, so it's a cheeky bonus, but you're welcome. This might be one of the cutest outfits, or one of the outfits that makes me feel cutest. So I've got this white top on with parachute pants, this jacket, and my big shoes. It makes me feel powerful but girly at the same time, and I literally love that. Like this top is so pretty. I've worn it so many times this week. It's actually filthy and needs to go in the wash. That's TMI. I never used to wear low-waisted things recently with a long top and low-waisted having a little strip of skin at the bottom. We're gonna do another nail appreciation moment because I'm actually like, every time I think about it, it literally makes me wanna cry because look how pretty they are. I initially wanted chrome, like silver chrome, but it's gonna be an extra like five quid and they didn't actually know how to do it. So I was like, oh, I'm not taking that risk. Just 
black and black has proved don't look at my face look at my nails black has proved very very successful and i am extremely pleased with it i'm currently freaking out about this outfit if you know me you don't know me because this is meant to be a surprise for a party i'm going to so just pretend you never saw this so you've seen this top before the skirt is stage two this is where the fun starts genuinely what the fuck look at that oh, my eyebrows always get so messed up when i'm filming this it's quite funny next one i'm not putting the shoes on for it because you've seen the shoes so many times just imagine i'm wearing them i was really against parachute pants but somehow them somehow they managed to be a really cheap pair that i found and um i have worn them probably except three days every day for the past two and a half weeks so let's just say i'm maybe a bit of a hypocrite another day another parachute pants wearing session as it gets a bit warmer it makes me feel a little bit like a little boy also these bits i cut the buttons off because they were ugly so these bits now stick out look that's cool that is cool i kind of love this i'm not feeling it on camera i think it's because you can't see the whole thing but in the mirror i'm like this is an incredible incredible thought process from me right so that obviously you can't see that properly i kind of like having it straight up it makes me feel like a little space man um i wore this yesterday actually if you tuck this up and have a little bit of hip it was too cold yesterday to have the hip but look how cool that is again obviously the parachute pants are back at it but i am literally dressed like a space man and do you know how cool i feel dressed as a space man sexy face man sometimes i like to watch the videos back to see what outfit i want to wear that day so just for future reference okay makes my torso look so long this is potentially the coolest thing i own comes with some leaves there's a little star on the back it's the coolest thing it's actually a dress but i just put it on as a top this is what it looks like as the full dress so it's just kind of like a little cropped thing this is something that i'm a bit desperate to wear but it's too cold and it wouldn't look the same with tights this oversized and this maxi skirt that was really really cute um this maxi skirt i'm waiting for spring so i can wear it i also need to wax my legs before i can wear it because currently i might as well have stuck a rug on it this is quite not really something i'd usually wear kind of really cute it's inspired by a pinterest pin i saw a crocheted one leg warmer this is gonna be another imagine scenario but imagine that i've got two of them that really makes the outfit she's 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 cute this top whoever designed it literally i feel like they crawled inside my brain and then threw it on a mesh a mesh top with a lettuce hem <laughs> why also why haven't i worn this yet this is an outfit for what next week i love this outfit formula there are so many different ways you can do it it's just so cozy my grandma gave my mum this puffer jacket and i've kind of adopted it into my life because that's the sort of caring thing i do okay you could probably tuck it out like this to make it a bit more cute also i'd probably go for a hair up moment thing is with a puffer vest you can't really wear a coat over top so i'm like it's got to be a little bit warmer for me to not wear my coat but just wear my puffer vest what am i doing when you find out i literally end up wearing every outfit on top of each other just so i don't have to get changed i've become really tactical now do you know why because i can get the height of the screen and only wear one of the shoes i'm actually risking my life and limb is that a phrase risking my life and limb wearing these shoes i'm uncoordinated at the best of times let alone whilst wearing some heels luckily the heels in these aren't huge i feel like it's something i could wear on an everyday basis but like to be a little bit extra i'm not quite sure they're college attire that that would really push me out of my comfort zone love it oh this is nice i apologize for my squeaky floorboards but you're probably used to them by now this is nice we have the skirt which in itself cute throw on the shoes 
I'm going to show you a different variation as well, just, just for fun. This is cute too. This is almost cute. I don't know. The skirt is more at my cup. Oh, did you hear that? It's disgusting. The skirt is more at my comfort zone, but this is... Ridiculously excited to use this as my water bottle now. Oh, <laughs> something in my eye. But I'm, I'm loving the like 90s boy band look to it. Uh, this is the outfit I've decided to wear to work. Look, do you see what I mean? So at the start of this video, when I started filming it, it was straight, but now I've got this little flick because of the way it sits on my shoulders. Like, it's fine, but I'd rather it wasn't there. But yeah, thank you for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye! Bye.